The question is asking, Assalamu alaikum, we say wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah, who is shaitan? Now, a shaitan, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in many places in the Quran, is the enemy of the believers, quite simply. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in many places in the Quran that we should not follow the footsteps of the shaitan, i.e. the devil. Or beware of the devil, the shaitan, that he is an enemy of you. Therefore, you take him as an enemy as well. There are many things that we do as Muslims from that following the guidance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect us from the harms of shaitan, from the harms of the devil, whose aim is to try and misguide us from the guidance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that they, the devils, and you should know that with every human being, that there is a shaitan, a devil assigned to you, who will do their utmost to try and harm you, to misguide you, to put whispers into your mind, to have doubts about Islam, and so on. As Muslims, we repel that with beneficial knowledge. We repel that with asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect us and to guide us. So, this is the reality of shaitan, that they will try to misguide you and to harm you. But alhamdulillah, as Allah tells us, Inna kayda shaytani kana da'ifa That the plans and the plots of the devil are intrinsically weak. And as Muslims, as believers, we have the most powerful protection. And that is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, our Lord, and the guidance that he gave to us from the recitation of the Qur'an and the many supplications that we can make asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect us from the devil. So therefore it is incumbent, it is a must for us all inshallah ta'ala to study these matters so that we are not misled by the devil and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best.